In this video, you learn how to create foundation slabs. Foundation slabs are very similar to structural floors and are system families. They should be used for any slabs on or below the ground level. Unlike a floor, you cannot use the shape editing tools on a foundation slab. However, a slab edge can be added to the foundation slab if required. Go ahead and open up the model Project A. The model opens in the 3D view. In this video, we're going to create some foundation slabs. Let's begin by extending our walls down to the lift pit level. To do this, we'll go ahead and open up the 00, zero ground floor plane. We'll then zoom in to the lift pit area over here. And on the structure ribbon, we'll select the wall command. In the properties palette, let's ensure that we have basic wall, RC wall 350 selected. And on the context ribbon, we're going to use a rectangle to construct our wall. On the options bar, let's ensure that depth is set. And we want to set the depth here to negative 02 lift pit. And in this example, we're going to use the location line, finish face, exterior. We can then sketch in our walls. OK, so those walls are now created. We'll select modify to release the command. And the two dividing walls here need to also extend down to the lift pit level. So I've selected these. And again, in the properties palette, you can see that we have a base constraint currently set to ground floor. Let's now set this to the lift pit level. So again, that's negative 0 to lift pit. So those walls have now extended down. Let's check that in the 3D view. So we'll switch back to the 3D view tab. And now we can clearly see we have the walls extended down for our lift pit. While we're here, we can see that we've got a couple of ground beams that we need to remove. So I'll just delete these and we can add those in later on. OK, so we're now ready to create our foundation slab. To do this in the project browser, let's go ahead and open up the view negative 0 to lift pit. In this view, we can now see our structural walls and we're now ready to create our foundation slab. On the structure ribbon in the foundation panel, you'll note here we have structural foundation slab. In the pull down menu, you can also see here that if required, we can add a slab edge to this. In this case, we just want to use a structural foundation slab. So we'll select this. This is very, very similar to the structural floor command. You can see that we have three different modes in here. We have boundary line, slope arrow and span direction. We have similar set of drawing tools, although the default here is to pick walls. That's what we'll be using. In the properties palette in the type selector, you can currently see that we have a 150 millimeter foundation slab. I'm going to create my own one. So we'll select edit type. We'll duplicate this. And here we'll call this one RC Foundation 900. And we can select OK. In the Type Properties dialog, let's now edit the structure. As I've said, this is almost identical to the Structural Floor tool. You can see here that we can add in multiple layers to create a composite foundation slab if we wanted to. If we wanted to add blinding underneath the slab, we could do that as well, um, rather than just detailing that in 2D. In this example here, we want to make sure we're using the correct grade of concrete. So in our projects, we've been using concrete cast in place C40. So we'll select that again. For the thickness, I'm going to type in 900. And we'll select OK to the Edit Assembly dialog. And OK again to the Type Properties dialog box. You will now notice here we have Pick Walls selected. On the options bar, I'm going to set an offset here. This will extend the foundation slab 300 millimeters beyond the wall. So now, as I move over the wall, you can see that I can now select these walls. You have to make sure, obviously, that the dotted line is on the right side. And now we can carefully pick around the walls to create our foundation slab. To finalize the slab, we can select Finish Edit Mode. And the slab is now complete. I'll select the span direction symbol, and in this case, I'm just going to delete that. We need another foundation slab. Uh, this one's going to be placed on the top of foundation level. So I'll now open up the plan, negative 01, top of foundation. And now I just want to have a foundation slab that's going to now go around the rest of the core area. To do this, we'll go back to the structure ribbon and we'll select slab again. Again, I'm going to use pick walls and here I'm going to retain the 300 millimeter offset. And now I can just start to pick around this area here. 
Now, of course, here we want to make sure that the foundation slab actually terminates on this edge here. So this time I'm going to use pick lines and I can pick this line here. And now I want to make sure that it's trimmed. So again, on the context ribbon, we can select trim extend to corner or here you can type in TR for trim. And then again here we pick the bits we want to keep. And there's our boundary. To finalize that, we can select finish edit mode. This warning here is telling us we've got one element completely inside another. Uh, in fact, here I've got a ground beam sitting in there. I'll delete that very shortly. Um, we'll click OK. And that's our foundation slab in place. Let's also delete the span direction symbol in here. We'll go back into our 3D view and we can now see our foundation slabs. Now to delete the ground beam that was completely inside the slab here, I can just use a window and I can see here there's the beam in question. So of course I'll just press delete there just to delete that, that ground beam out. Okay, so there's our foundation slabs. Now just to complete this, we'll go ahead and create some additional ground beams. To do this, we can go back to our top of foundation plan. I can select one of these existing ground beams. And in this case, I'm gonna type in CS, which is the keyboard shortcut for create similar. And now I can actually model in the rest of my ground beams. Okay, so we just place another one out over here, another one over here, and then we've got a couple more to create down over here. And we'll just create the last few ground beams. Okay, so again, just to check this in 3D, we can open up the 3D view and we can just do a quick orbit and a quick inspection around the project and that all looks good. Okay, um, just one last thing to do. You can see that those new ground beams aren't sharing the same structural concrete grade. Uh, so I can right click, select all instances visible in view. And again here, I could now associate all of those ground beams to, to our global parameter C40. And there's our model complete. Okay, let's save the project. And that concludes this video.